All right, guys, what you're looking at here is a Ruger uh, Mark IV Hunter, okay? Um, you saw I just did a bunch of videos on upgrading my Mark III, uh, which is a new gun also. But uh, honestly, I've wanted this model in this configuration uh, forever, okay, forever. Th this thing, I just could not resist it anymore, I'm sorry. The local gun shop had this thing for about two weeks, and I couldn't take it. I saw it come in, and I would go up there every, you know, couple days a week sort of thing. It was still there, kicking around, just begging me to take it home. So I said, screw it, and I did. Okay? All right? Sue me. All right? These things are not cheap. This isn't cheap at all. And it wasn't really an impulse buy. I reasoned it out by looking at the price of this thing. These things are not going to get any cheaper. It's not getting any cheaper, okay? It's getting harder to get this kind of stuff, okay? And the way this economy and everything's going, this isn't, this isn't going to lose its value either, okay? So I picked it up. Now, I've resisted a Mark IV uh, forever because, you know, it, it addressed the whole breakdown, you know, problems that people don't like about these, these pistols. It made that better. Well... I, I don't mind the breakdown sequence, so I thought, you know, this Mark IV is like, you know, kind of a wimpy thing. But after having one in my hand here and looking at this guy for two weeks now, um, yeah, this is nice. This is a nice firearm. Okay, let's do a little let's do a little walkthrough here. So it's it's totally unloaded, right? It has all all of the controls that the Mark III has, okay? It's got an ambidextrous safety, okay? Which is, I have to say, the controls on this model are crazy crisp. Really, really crisp clicks, right? Very nice, okay? Everything's very nice. Um, got all three of the controls. Got safety, ambidextrous safety, got a, uh, a bolt release and it's got the uh mag release here and the mag release is spring loaded these guys fly at you right remember the mark three doesn't have that it's got a little spring loaded tab right there okay you can see that it's hard to see right there okay so mags come at you um weight it's heavy okay which i love it i love it um I really, the six and seven eighths inch barrels speak to me, okay? This thing will probably be pretty accurate, but it's really comfortable to hold. Really nice uh, feel, right? Um, as far as, uh, you know, obviously it's stainless steel. Um, lower receivers machined, looks like. And you can see how this has been milled out of a block of metal, basically. Um, rosewood grips. Okay, it's a little bit flashier uh, than I like, but I'm telling you, this is a good-looking gun. I just can't, I couldn't resist, whatever. It does have the high-vis uh, front sight, and when you buy this thing, it comes with a couple different light pipes. It's got a, a green one, a uh, yellow one or whatever, and a white one in there, uh, which I'm fine with the red, okay? Um, as far as the breakdown, right, on this guy... Um, it's pretty simple. You don't have to dry fire or anything. You just put it on safety, right? And then hit this button in the back, right? And it breaks right down. Don't need to mag or any of that stuff, but you can just take it apart with button push. It breaks down like an AR-15, right? And then putting it back together is just easy peasy, okay? Can't fire it without the mag. Got an empty mag here, which will be changing this. I don't like that feature, okay? But that's it. So there's the new Mark IV, which reminds me a lot of the original. This is a Ruger Standard. Okay, let's do a little history lesson here. So this started it all. Okay, you guys love your precision rifles, your Ruger precision rifle, your 1022, your Ruger American, your AR-15, right? It started with this in 1949, okay? This is a standard. Um, this thing ran from 1949 to 1981. There's a couple different ways uh, you can tell uh, if this if you get a standard or not. Uh, probably the most obvious is the rear sight 
is not a target site. No adjustments. Has to be drifted um, to be able to uh, change the site point. Uh, the other major difference is uh, this will say on the cold roll stamp here will say Ruger um, automatic pistol. Okay. Uh, if it was a Mark One, it would say Mark One. Okay, like a Mark Three or a Mark Two says Mark Two. Okay. This gun started at all. This thing has the least amount of features. It's one button, okay? It's got the uh, mag release here, the roller, and this is your safety and your bolt stop in one, okay? This gun has a six inch barrel on it, which sometimes you see these things with like a four inch barrel, uh, real short, uh, Luger looking things. But this one's got the six inch barrel. This also has, this thing probably has Gosh, I don't even know. I don't even want to guess how many rounds are through this thing. Thousands and thousands and thousands. Okay. This gun shoots lights out to this day. This thing is nuts. Okay. I've had this thing forever. Um, it's probably got the best trigger I've ever felt uh, on a pistol. So nice and smooth. Okay. And of course, since it's so old, the breakdown, right, on this guy, super easy. All right. That started it all. And then we've got this guy, right? Which, you know, if you've been watching, you've seen the videos on the Mark III and the upgrades, right? This is the, this is the uh, uh, 2245 uh, version of this thing, which if you look at, you know, the big complaint I have with this guy is the grip width. Super narrow. Holy crap, is that thing narrow. But for kind of like a brush beater, Especially in the winter when I'm using uh, heavy gloves. This thing's like perfect. Okay. It's pretty good. Uh, super accurate. All the upgrades are excellent. We'll be upgrading the Hunter uh, much the same as this guy. Um, with There's actually some more upgrades I'm going to do. I'm going to rebuild these bolts and things too. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a Mark, Mark Pistol fan. And this is, my, this is my collection at this point. So anyways, we'll be getting these guys out the weather. Although we're getting this Arctic bomb up here in the Northeast right now, it's out there snowing like crazy, but we'll get, uh, we'll get to the range and, and start shooting some of this stuff, uh, here in the near future. So still at the old house, working through that whole thing. Uh, but you know, things are moving. So, all right guys, that's it for me. Thanks for watching.